west of Canada in days gone by, when chuck wagons followed cattle dry. Yeah. There was hooting, there was yelling, there was dust in the air, with the yip of the driver and the cry of old riders and the roar of wheels on the ground. With muscles twitching and broom tails flying, with canvas flapping and hooks so slanging, the chuck wagon race is here. The hills around Calgary and on the rugged plain Where gopher holes and rocks dot the way With the green grass waving in the whistling wind Has the chuck wagon jolted on and on Has the chuck wagon jolted on and on it bothers the devil out of me to have to sit back and watch my son Bob driving. I'd sooner be out there driving myself. But these kids are just practically raised to it in Alberta here. And my grandson, little Richard, won't be too long before he gets old enough and he'll be another driver coming. He'll make a good living out of it. Chuck wagon racers are going all over Canada now. Three or four big shows in the States. Yeah. Some of the boys are making 15, 20,000 out of their outfits, so it's big business now. The boys usually start, oh, about the 1st of April, kind of breaking their team and working them and getting them hard, just like anybody at the racetrack would do. And then they'll start driving them slow and turning the barrels and getting them to work together. Stop. Other stampedes and rodeos have tried to copy it, but it's never really been successfully put on anywhere else but Calgary. And I don't think it will. Most of the drivers live within 200 miles of here. And this is their home, and the chuck wagon race is their race. Many people do come from all parts of the world to Calgary this time of year. Where once only hard-riding cowboys did roam Everyone comes to see the stampede Now the people in Calgary all in the hand To put on the best show in the West And the old-timers tell you it's better each year As it tells of a life that is past While horses and Indians, wild grandma bulls, are part of the show you will see. There are calf ropers, bulldoggers, bronc riders too, till the chuck wagon races are run. to settle down from the afternoon show about an hour before sundown is when we run off the wagon races. Most of the boys will drive two wagons every night and the outriders, they might ride for three or four different outfits. We run seven or eight heats every night or wagons to heat. They get their time all tallied up and by the end of the week, the fastest average time wins. A few seconds, one way or the other, sure means a lot, and I can tell you. I've won this race myself by a fifth of a second, and I've lost it by a fifth of a second, so you can see how it can go.
feels like about now. You get kind of tense and fidgety when it's coming up to your heat. The wife and kids are getting pretty excited, too, waiting for him to get in there. You see, it's not always the first wagon across the finish line wins the race. Your outriders make a big difference to your chances. They got to get the cook stove on when the horn goes, and they got to stay right with you all the way around the track. this race back in 1923, well, we had old Percher on horses and the big Clydes to pull our wagons. Now the boys got mostly thoroughbreds, and they're not just broke down horses off the racetracks either. Take those lines. Why, they're on the lead team. They're 15 foot long, and the horse has got to have a good mouth to carry that line. These races are more streamlined now. We've tried to build it so the boy who's built the best team can win the race. We used to use steel barrels. Now we use cardboard, heavy cardboard barrels. And a wagon can hit them and not turn over or do any damage. And the same with the stoves. We used to have real cook stoves, and if they were left behind and a horse ran over it, he might get his leg cut up, and that sort of thing. Bobby's on number four, the suicide barrel tonight. I always liked that one myself. I won a lot of money off that old number four in my days. good time tonight. Didn't see any penalties for him. Oh, I've seen some great things on this track over the years. Some of the greatest sights that anybody will ever see. In the wild west of Canada, in days gone by, truck wagons followed cattle drive. There was hoot and there was yelling, there was dust in the air. With the yip of the driver and the cry of the riders and the roar of wheels on the ground. With muscles twitching and broom tail flying, with canvas laughing and the snow clanging, the rattle of the wagon man who's making thunder, the chuck wagon race is here. 